Okay, so today's video is about a random thought that I had as I was driving home from a client's house. Um, I don't typically go to other farms anymore to give lessons. I used to do that before we bought our farm, but today I just, um, I had a student that I really wanted to work with, with her horse that she purchased um, a few weeks back. And it got me thinking about um, a lot of situations that I've been in throughout my career. So, um, you know, I'll have a student who is um, doing great with lessons, everything's going great, they're ready for horse ownership, you know, and the day comes where you find just the right horse for them, and then all of a sudden things aren't going so right. And um, we work through that. We always just work through that. Let me say, say that first and foremost. But I want everybody to understand, when, when you go and buy a horse, um, think about how the horse feels about the transition, okay? So a lot of times I'll have, oh, well, you know, when I got this horse, it was perfect. And then all of a sudden these things just started going wrong. Or, um, you know, we never had these problems before and now these issues are developing. And um, there's so many changes that have just gone on. And imagine how that horse feels, okay? So... A lot of the horses that I own, um, they do great in my program. Um, they handle a tremendous amount of different riders and they do great at it. But one thing that is the common denominator every single time is that I'm right there with them in the arena. So I can help the rider through the issues and make sure that everything goes the way we need it to go. Um, that doesn't mean that there's not going to be a lot of challenges. There's been plenty of that. And that's what I feel really helps riders learn how to handle new situations and become better riders. Um, riding a lot of different horses, that sort of thing. But anyway, so where I'm going is I want you to think, um, and I apologize for the, um, I literally pulled over on the side of the road because I'm like, I just have to talk about this. And so I apologize for any vibration. I'm in a one and a quarter ton dually diesel, so it's got quite a rumble to it. But anyway, um, when somebody ends up with a horse and it's a new situation for the horse and rider, think of all the things that are different, okay? So maybe the horse's, well, the horse's environment has changed for one um, in most situations. Um, the horse has a new rider, a new person to, um, to call their own. Um, maybe the food is different, the tack is different, everything is different. The surroundings are different, the herd mates are different. Everything is different for this horse. So the adjustment period is going to be huge. Um, you may see things such as the horse losing weight. That can happen from just stress of change. Um, the anxiety that goes along with it. Some horses show it, some horses don't. Some horses adapt absolutely perfect and there's never a problem. Um, some people may, um, like for instance, say I were to sell one of my lesson horses to a student and they take it home. Well, now it's a different environment and they don't have me there for support. Um, so maybe some issues develop at home that they never saw before, but it's always something that can be worked through. It's always just a, a, a transition period where it's important to continue with a lot of education. So, um, Anyway, what I'm trying to say basically is don't blame the horse. Whatever you do, don't blame the horse. And um, the student I went and worked with today, that was not the case at all. Um, it was just a matter of um, just going out, making sure that they were doing well together and, and getting certain things ironed out. And that was that was it. It was great. Everything was, was wonderful. Um, but then I stopped and saw another horse that had, um, you know, had lost a little bit of weight after moving to a new home and that kind of stuff and it just made me think about all the situations over the years where students bought new horses um, or horses were sold um, problems developed but as long as you keep up with education so never ever ever stop learning always keep up with your education seek help um, don't just blame the horse or think oh well you know I'm doing something wrong you know don't don't think those things just think all right we will work through this we will work through it and find somebody that can help you work with the problems 
Um, I've been very fortunate because I've had a lot of students that will sell a horse to another student. Well, I already know that horse really well and I have the ability to um, to see what's going on and to help them fix it that way and it's always worked out super smooth. Um, and it might just be the smallest thing that you may not know or notice that your trainer might be able to see in about a nanosecond. So don't give up, just seek out help and work through it and just don't stop working through it. But don't try to do it on your own. Um, there's a lot of things that, like I said, the trainer might see so quickly, but it might take a really long time um, for you to find out on your own. So seek out help and just don't, don't give up on that horse because that horse is not doing anything. They're not trying to do things wrong. Um, their world has just changed. Imagine if you were taken out of your environment and put in a completely different environment, different family, different house, different living conditions all together and all different clothes. How would you feel? And think about that. The adjustment time is going to take, it's just going to take time. It takes time. It takes getting used to the new things. So anyway, sorry for rambling, um, but I really had to get that off my chest because it's something that I just have seen so hundreds of times over the la over my career. Um, and um, it's just really important and it's going to come up again. So I just want you to know that. And new horse owners, so if you're considering getting a horse, I want you to keep that in mind before you get the horse. So if there's an opportunity for you to work directly with your trainer um, before taking a horse home or um, during that transition period, oh, that's perfect. Um, you know, get DVDs of, of a trainer you really like um, and, and stick to it. Watch it. Never stop learning. Never stop working on it. Get better and better and better. And it will, it will, um, it will all work out. So, okay. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Thanks for listening to my rambling and um, thanks for watching.